I'm an avid pet lover. I also love to ride bikes. I purchased this Wolf Cycle off the internet at wolfcycle.com so I could exercise my dogs while riding my bike. It's really easy to put on. You can also buy it at stores, pet stores in your neighborhood or cycling stores. I'm going to show you how to put it on, see how easy it is to take your dog. Taking the Wolf Cycle out of its packaging, make sure that you read all the instructions thoroughly and you understand what you're doing. The Wolf Cycle comes in one piece, there's nothing to assemble. Now I'm going to show you how to do the Wolf Cycle to the rear axle of the bike. This is a unique feature of the Wolf Cycle. It makes it the safest on the market. Attaching it to the rear axle keeps the bike very stable, makes it the safest product for both the dog and the Wolf Cycle on the rear axle of our bike. First thing you do is unhinge the quick release of your bike and you start to unscrew it from the other side. Be mindful, there's two little springs on either side which you don't want to lose. Very easy, it comes off very easy, that's why it's called quick release. There's the one screw, I'm going to put it on the side. I'm going to take the axle out, pick up my wolf cycle and just pin it through. I'm going to make sure that wolf cycle appears on top, that's how I know I'm in the right place. I'm going to stick the axle back into the bike very easily. Now I can just leave it there as I pick up the other side, making sure that the screw is in the larger part of this little hinge thing. And I'm gonna hold on to this, push it through. Now I can see it coming through on the other side. I'm gonna make sure that that's up that way. And you start to screw it in. takes. Again, I'm just making sure that I know where the wolf cycle is. Just want to make sure that the little quick release isn't too tight, so I'll just keep going back and forth to make sure how tight I want to make it so it fits in. on before I take my dog out for a ride. I always make sure that I have enough water for my dog. I have a flexible bowl that you can buy at any camping supply store and I make sure that I have enough poop bags in my pack so that if they should stop and go to the bathroom I can assemble my wolf cycle. I'm ready to take my dog for a walk and attach her. Come here Jenny. See how easy it is to just take her little collar, attach her like you're attaching her to leash, the bike and now you're ready to go. walking with your dog before you get on the bike and actually take her for a ride. The goal of Wolf Cycle is to make sure your dog's at a nice, nice safe trot. So make sure your dog isn't moving any faster than that. Keep everybody safe. I'm show you what to do if, when your dog goes to the bathroom and she's attached to Wolf Cycle. It's very simple. All you do is you get off your bike. Lay your bike gently down on the ground. You can see that there's no pulling on your butt on your dog. Just come around, clean up after your dog, take the stuff, get back. Easily pick your bike back up. Here's three final tips for using your wolf cycle safely. Never leave your dog unattended with the kickstand on. The dog can pull the bike down on top of them. If you're wolf cycling with two dogs, always put dog on the outside so that the dog can pee and not pee on top of the other dog. And finally, when you're riding along and your dog has to go to the bathroom, you might feel a slight tug. Just slow down, pull over to the side and let the dog go to the bathroom and everything should be great.